You're listening to the ESO Network, your station for all things geek. Exploring the multiverse of pop culture. This is Pod Casserole. An Adam and JP show. Hey, uh, welcome to Podcast Roll. There's Adam. Oh, hey. Uh, Josh is here. He's hey. back. What's yeah. up, guys? He's back. It, it's a special show. It's very it special. We've got a lot we're going to get to. Yeah. We've got a uh, Hero Holiday Havoc 2017 coming up. Can I do one quick thing first? Yes. It's a very special episode. We're in a hurry and a rush. Yeah. But special things happen. Josh is here. It's your birthday, by the way, JP. Today is we my birthday. We can't not say that. And whenever those two things happen, when one of those things happen, something else happens. But combined total... We have to give some gifts out, you know. Well, oh, oh, yeah, no. Yeah, some gifts out. Gifts. Uh, <laughs> look old, at that. The old Santa Claus. The old He's Walmart Santa Claus. Santa Claus bag. <laughs> look at he that. He pulled a Walgreens okay. bag so out. So we do have these here. Oh, oh what is that? Some, some, nice. You know, in celebration of his birthday, we're giving one to everyone. So Josh, oh, you as well. And every is, time, this, every, is, this <laughs> the, is this the every kid gets a trophy it is, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's in celebration of everyone's birthday here. I don't this think is I gave awesome. You a, I don't think I gave you a birthday present this year, Josh. So it's your per- birthday, cheap-ass birthday present as well. So do know, you want me to open this now? Sure, yeah. Like I said, we can do it quickly. It's no big deal. Okay. Can tell what it is. Give a description. Give a, an unboxing here. Blind box vinyl figure WWE figures. By Funko. I didn't know they made these, honestly. Funko does make these, and if you look on there, it'll give you the count of each individual person. Like okay. uh there'll be one that's that's more prevalent than the other. Or so I say there are. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Who who do you want who, who to do get you want? out of everybody who's oh, on the back? Who uh, do you want? Ever, okay, so it could be Roman Reigns, the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase, <laughs> uh Gold Dusk. Gold, gold dust. dust. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's, a, wait dust. that's a romance novel, right? Oh, gold dust, huh? Wasn't, wasn't, wasn't Fabio on the cover? Uh, Randy Orton, uh, John Cena, Sting. Uh, oh, that's Dusty Rhodes. The American <laughs> Dream. The American Dream. Dusty, Dusty Rhodes. Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes. Stone Dusky Cold Ro- Steve Austin. <laughs> <laughs> There's Sting on here. I can't believe he's on a WWE thing. If you replace dust with dusk, it makes it all so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Dusky Rhodes with Adam. Gold Dusk. <laughs> Gold Dusk. Did I say Lesnar? Bret Hart? Yeah. That's a good mix of uh, some, some classic some new guys. The guy yeah. on the top right is Nash. It says Nash on it. It says I, would have, I was about to ask, who is that? <laughs> it wow. says Nash, it is. Okay, I so hope I get Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yes, yeah. and okay. I want Dusty Rhodes, okay? What's the one you don't want? It'd be funny if you got that one. Well, I, I said Randy <laughs> Orton, but I think that's actually The Rock. Oh, really? There is The Rock down there. Does he have t- uh, nope, down nope, tattoos? Nope. Or, no? nope, that is Randy Orton. That's Randy Orton, okay. for sure. So you don't want Randy Orton? Yeah. Um, Do you guys both not want Randy? Why don't you get two Randy? I don't. <laughs> double We're going to have double Randys. <laughs> I would take Randy Orton. I don't want Roman Reigns. Okay. No okay. Roman Reigns. Okay. Are you no anti Roman. Roman Reigns? Uh, You know. Yeah. All right. We're, so we're opening. Am I going to reveal mine yeah. first? Sure. Is it in a, in a bag still? It's in oh, a bag. It ought to be bag. in a black bag. And there you go. It is. Hang on. <laughs> Let's see who you got. Who you yeah, got? Who's it going to be for his birthday prize? Is it? It is. Yes. Can you feel it and tell? What do you think? What do you feel? You guys, before oh, I look. Oh, wow. wow. You're, you, can I give you hey. a hint? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, it's yeah, Bret Hart. Yeah, Bret the Hitman Hart. All right, I'm going to go Bret ahead and say this. <laughs> yes, if I get stone. <laughs> if I get Stone Cold, I will trade you so you can have That's a Stone good. Cold. How about stone that? Cold. Since it's birthday, uh, okay. You ready? <laughs> All right, here we go. Do you trade a Randy though? <laughs> R- real fast. All right. Oh, I got oh, gold dust. Got gold, gold dust. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. A little oh, gold oh. dust capture. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Uh, it is uh, a birthday. Uh-huh. Uh, there's also a birth coming up. Right. Yeah. Oh, a child. And yeah. uh, so you get gifts too. Oh, wow. But they're not for you. And by right, the way. Yeah. Uh, where, uh, whereas I can thank you for my wrestling figure, yeah, uh, you can thank my wife for all of it. Okay, these. sounds good. I'm yeah. sure these will be much more usable than some vinyl WWE yeah. figures. And there's one in here that I'm going to pull out first. Okay, pull out of the uh, the bag. Yeah, she says you have to use this. Okay, regardless of your personal feelings, <laughs> you have to use this. <laughs> well, I'm kind of afraid what that is. It's yeah. a Wonder oh, Woman bib. Nice, that's amazing. Because you're Wonder having Wonder Woman bib that, that will be used. I promise. You're having a little girl. That's amazing. That would be used. Yeah. That's awesome. And That's great. Uh, also a copy oh, cool. like a, nice. of, of the book Star Wars ABC nice. 3PO. Nice. You go through here. We can we can read some of this later. Can, Every yeah. letter of the alphabet right. with a Star Wars character attached. That's wow. A, That's yeah. amazing. Like O is for 
Uh, Obi Wan. Obi Wan. Yeah. 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 Okay. A is for Anakin. Mm, maybe it's got to be. Has, the whole saga's about Anakin. Hey, Z is for Zuckus. Yeah, uh, I don't think that's it. Oh, and there's a little note in here. Oh, Aww. I'll let you read the note when okay. you get it. Sounds good. Did you write A, it? A B C three P O. That's pretty oh. cool. This is good stuff, guys. Oh, A is for Akbar. There right. you go. Oh, for Anakin. Akbar. Yeah. Oh, maybe yeah. Maybe Vader's sure. in there. Maybe Anakin's in there. I mean, Vader. Sorry. Vader. B V. Yeah. Poor yeah. Akbar. He tried. It really wasn't his fault. Blame those Empire thugs. It was a total assault, unseen and unplanned for. He didn't know what to do, so he yelled, it's a trap. Okay, I was going to say it has to be in there. It has to be. Yeah. And the phrase stuck like glue. Like yeah. gorilla, like gorilla glue. glue. Gorilla glue. <laughs> and there's one more in here. Okay. And this may be your favorite. Uh-oh. Those are pretty good so far. It is a classic NES Whoa. controller teether. Wow. That's what I'm talking about right that there. That yeah. is amazing. Your kid's going to be chewing on an NES controller. The, where, how, how do you even find this stuff? I've never she, seen this. That is, Steph that's awesome. It. That's amazing. You can thank Steph for all of this. I do appreciate she that. She did all of that's this. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. I want to chew on this thing. Can't you want to? <laughs> that's really good. It's like, if you want to. It's the scale, too, I believe. That's pretty much the scale. Yeah. Yep. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Because at first I thought you got me like a USB NES controller. I'm like, sweet. <laughs> yeah. I've used that like five, six years. Yeah. That's Happy. <laughs> thank you. Happy birth. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's we're six weeks or so out. So yeah. There we go. That's kind of scary. Going to have a kid. I'm just recently removed from a uh, birthing class. Kind of Sweet. That's what we're. Uh, I just did 30 minutes They tell ago. you about the kid pinking up and I just, stuff uh, like that? Not so much. Right there yet. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Is it they, they yeah. pinky? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Today we saw about the actual. The what? Yeah, <laughs> when your kid comes out. Yeah, yeah. They talk about pink it pinking up. Like, is in other words, it's like flush or really, really or pale. We saw, and then when it comes out, like it starts crying, and it, they want it to pink up and turn. Interesting. Yeah. We we did see a video today of like fun, a, fun. A, an actual birth today. It was, it was did pretty, you? It was awesome, wasn't it? Was pretty pretty gushy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect that much gush coming out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They used to actually show those in high school home ec classes. Wow. Yeah. Mm. And now we have YouTube. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Gather around, kids. We're going to watch a YouTube video. <laughs> there is uh, some crazy amount of ripping that can happen. Just, oh, just, I, I had no idea. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, before we get into the uh, the hero holiday havoc, <laughs> yeah, we've got one bit of business we got to take care uh-huh. of. We haven't done this in a while. You guys remember Sherry, right? Yeah. Oh, Sherry from Canada. Oh, Sherry yeah. from Canada. Yeah. Uh, she sent us an email following our special episode from the uh, Grand Old Game Room Expo. Yeah. Uh, Why didn't she come to it? Sherry, yeah, we're disappointed well, in you. It's a little bit of a drive. It's a few oh, thousand sorry, miles. sorry. Uh, <laughs> she says, uh, Sherry from Canada again. That's the subject. Hi, Adam and JP. As a Back to the Future fan, I have to agree with JP that the order is one, three, two. That's terrible. What do you think, Josh? Or to the Back to the Future films? Man, it's hard for me to say. Yeah. I would say one, two, three. I'm a two, one, three guy. You're a two? two? One, three? You know no. this. You know this. Yeah, I've, I've always loved two more than any. Uh, Sherry goes on to say, I think most people who are big fans of the franchise agree with that order. People who aren't super fans usually like two the best. How is that possible? That's, that's the only time they actually go to the future. I'm not sure if my answers are actually wanted by Josh. But Josh mentioned a YouTuber from Montreal, and if I knew, heard of them. Sorry to disappoint. Who was the YouTuber? Kriparian. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Kriparian. Never heard of him. Yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry to disappoint. Also, Ooh. just a comment about your Halloween candy favorites. The best Halloween candy is... I a- swear if she says she likes bits of, bit of honey, <laughs> she is written off in my book. The best Halloween candy is a bit of honey. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was going to say. Uh, is a coffee crisp. I know you guys uh. don't have them, though. I'd be happy to send you some if you ever wanted to try it. They really are the best chocolate bar and one of the few things that we have that you guys don't. I'll tell you what, Sherry. Send <laughs> free us, healthcare. What? Send us some coffee crisp. <laughs> what? Free healthcare. What? <laughs> Sherry, you send us some coffee crisp, and yeah. we'll send you a Goo Goo Cluster because mm-hmm. I know you don't know what that is. Not a Goo Goo. Oh, uh, wow. Like other Goo Goos. And some Moonshine. Wait, can we ship Wait, Moonshine? Yeah, no, no, I don't we can't ship it. We're not going to send you Moonshine. I'm not sure if you can ship. Can't I can't ship that. Yeah. Yeah. We'd be bootlegged. Really? Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, Josh mm-hmm. and I might May have, have, have done that. Sorry. <laughs> it may have happened. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she needs a Google, a good legal Google. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'll send her a Google. <laughs> Sherry, do you want a Google? Because I'll send you one. <laughs> uh, you can be the SOB OTW. 
It's easy, right, Adam? Yeah. It's all about the, the online interaction. You can uh, tweet us at Adam and JP or go to the actual Adam and JP website like Sherry does and just give us a message on there. Or does she still email? What does she do? What's she uh, doing? She sent us an email. Oh, she's the, ah. We're to the emails now. Yeah. AJP is, at adamandjp.com. That is correct, where it is. And don't forget patreon.com. Oh, yeah, patreon.com slash podcast roll. And, of course, facebook.com slash adamandjp. You can always message us on there as well. And uh, coming up very soon, uh, a bonus episode from the Grand Ole Game Room Expo, the panel we were actually on. Yeah. It's going to go up on Patreon. Great time. Well, this is the first official show after we've actually been there. Mm-hmm. And so, legitimately, it was a good time. A much bigger crowd this year. A lot a lot of fun was had. Look forward to next year. Yeah. We yeah. did have fun. And can I honestly say, had no clue that there was a Rob Zombie pinball that is one of the most amazing Same. things I've ever seen right. in fun my life. Fun fact about the Rob Zombie pinball. I'm really good at it. He, oh, yeah, really? he was. Yeah. He was. He yeah. was. I forgot. I mean, I, it's got Captain Spaulding in it. It's got stuff from Rob Zombie's concerts in it. Mm-hmm. Like It's got lots of dirty words yeah. that come up on the yeah. screen. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, the point system is, yeah, yep. certain uh, <laughs> sexual favors. Yeah. 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 But he's very good. That's his, that's his jam. I, apparently. It's yeah. amazing. Rob Zombie Pinball <laughs> is my jam. <laughs> and for the low, low price, what is it, eight or $9,000? Yeah, it was like $8,000. Yeah. Yeah. Used, yeah. by the way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, before we get on to this very special episode, uh, I do want to thank. Did you get? A, did you listen to the unbelievable podcast? I did. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll play it for you before you. Yeah, leave. yeah. Please I'm not going to play it because I want you to go and listen to the Friday Night Fright Fest uh, episode of the Unbelievable Podcast. I think no, that were was they the live on the website. You they were live. Li- okay. Yeah, they were okay. live. I was curious. They did a live show. Uh, they wanted like stuff of uh, spooky stories, mm-hmm. so we sent them the ghost uh, at Carton Plantation really? stuff. And they played a little bit of that, and then I called in later in the show and got to be on with the unbelievable. Kind podcast. of very cool. I think casting or something like that, but it was close. It was a close yeah, word. Yeah, it was close. <laughs> it, was close. <laughs> yeah. it was the idea. Yeah. It was and a change for the uh, security of the others. That's true. Well, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, uh, to protect yeah. the innocent. <laughs> uh, and then I got to do liners for the show right there on the yeah. air. There you go. Yeah, that's it was cool. fun. Yeah, fantastic. So thanks to the guys at the Unbelievable Podcast. That was a lot of fun. All right, now boom. What we all gathered here for? You hear this? Oh, yeah. You got it going, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I wanted us to do a tournament. I wanted us to do a hero tournament. And my initial thought was, because Adam's come up with some fantastic games yeah. over the last few weeks. I, try. I think we can we can admit to that. Man, I'm going to tell you, that, that that last, the horror game? Yeah. Oh, oh man. It was fun, right? <laughs> Top notch. Yeah, and then Top we did notch. it at the Grand Old Game Room Expo with video little, games. Right. Video game twist. There you there. go. Yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah. So I wanted to pay Adam back and let him play a fantastic game. I think game. you've overdone it here, but let's continue. No, this is great. <laughs> so I, I wanted us to do like a, a hero-based tournament, superheroes. You know, we got Justice League out, Thor is out. Uh, we'll give our thoughts on that coming up. Mm-hmm. Um, and my initial thought was we would just debate the heroes, and we would decide, and we would take a vote. And there's three of us, so it would always be a majority rules. And if we don't like this, we can always go back to that. But then I was like, what if we added a twist? What if we made it something special? What if we actually made it a role-playing game? So we have the podcast role. Holiday Havoc. 2017. <laughs> yeah. 16 heroes. Eight from the world of DC. Eight from the world of Marvel. We'll do battle in the Podcasserole Arena for superhero supremacy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Podcasserole. What, uh, what did I call it? Uh, Hero Holiday Havoc. Hero Holiday Havoc 2017. 2017. You guys excited? I'm pumped. Man, this I is have fantastic. No idea what's gonna happen, but I'm, I'm ready. Excited. The way this works is it is in the podcast role battle arena, which is a cross between the holodeck and the danger room. It could be anything. It could be Gotham City. It could be Central City. Ooh. It could be an, an errant desert. Ooh. It could be a lunar outpost. The Stanley Hotel, even. It could be the Stanley Hotel. It's not in this, but it's a good <laughs> idea for the next. <laughs> the, the heroes will battle each other. They have hit points. It's just like it's just like any role playing game. But there's a twist. Okay. There are three hidden switches in each level. Uh-huh. You find those switches, it can help you, it can hurt you, or it can reset the podcast rule arena to a totally different location. And all three hidden switches you have to find. Oh, well, you don't have to find okay. them. Oh, you don't have to. Okay. No, you don't have to okay. find them. I got you. But if you do find them, okay. then that's what could happen. There no, you could conceivably do the entire battle without flipping one switch. I want to find those switches. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So uh, I'm going to set the stage. I'm going to tell you where you are. I'm going to tell you. Now, we've rolled before we started. Right. So in the first battle, it's going to be the Flash versus Stargirl 
when we start, you guys can use your cards and give a little bit of the bio, mm-hmm. yeah. a little bit of a background uh, of your uh, of the heroes that you will uh, you will be using. Uh, we have seated these. I took the liberty of actually <laughs> seating these like a tournament. <laughs> so our first battle will be uh, number four seed, the Flash, taking on uh, number eight seed. Star Girl. Yeah. So as you can imagine, <laughs> the the I'm uh, Star Girl. This is Josh. Um, I don't know who she is, <laughs> but hey, we're gonna give it a go. Might as well. You got a little a uh, little bio there if you want. Yeah. I've got about her. Ne- her father is Stripe. Stripe. Yeah. Like I'm not sure if that's Stripe from the the Gremlins or if that is <laughs> somebody else, but it, it looks like an acronym. It's got like a dot in between each one. S-T-R-P. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. So anyway, she's a gymnast and a kickboxer. She carries a the cosmic staff. She is a member of the G- Justice League of America as well as what is JSA? That's Justice, Justice Society, Society, Society of America. Society of America. Yeah. Okay, looks like Captain America's sister because she's dressed like dressed appropriately. Yeah. Um, when she has a cosmic staff, uh, she has athletic prowess. And I think it said flight. Yeah, she, she flight. can, she can uh-huh. fly. Okay. Yeah. Um, What's her, her weaknesses? Her, her weakness, her, uh, she's mortal. And her weakness, uh, she is weak without the staff. Uh, and that's about it. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, And on your cards, you have some uh, other attributes. To melee, you get a plus two in yeah. some cases. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if, I, if I were to find the staff, I get, uh, I get a plus two for... Um, all landed attacks plus two. Oh wow! Yep. Okay, so without the staff, <laughs> all landed attacks plus two for the opponent. <laughs> yes, the, the opponent. Well, she's the number eight seed. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's yeah. the she's yeah. the last seed in the DC world. That's rough. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, Adam mm. will be playing as the Flash in I the will. first battle. I will. Uh, the bio for Flash goes as uh, we are playing as the Barry Allen Flash. By yep, the way, exactly. The Central City CSI member. Chemicals and lightning equals super speed for Mister Barry Allen. Flashpoint paradox. He was involved in, of course, called the caused the new Fifty Two storyline. Of course, he is a uh, a big time member of the Justice League of America. You know what? Run, Barry, run. That's right. That's it. His powers are super speed. He controls the speed force, super healing, speed lightning, and superhuman reflexes. His weaknesses include non-bodied opponents. Uh, they get plus one for those opponents with non-bodies. The telepathic uh, attacks and others with super speed as well are his, uh, his weaknesses. Right. We do have some attacks like the speed burst melee, a speed lightning throw, and a running melee. Mm. And for defense, we have speed force protection. We have super healing and super speed. So. It's the breakdown of Mr. Barry Allen. Battle number one. And Flash Havoc has Havoc points for 59, by the way. Oh, that's true. He does yeah. have 51. Or, or uh, 59. 59. Yeah. Stargirl has 45. Well, I think it's safe there? to say there that in the... Are you there? Hey, hey, hey what happened to you? Oh, God. Where did you go? It's the new 52. Oh, there you go. It's the paradox. <laughs> okay. Well, I feel like it's safe to say that in the realm of punch out, yeah. I've got Glass Joe. <laughs> 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 and Adam is using Mac. So, um, yeah, well, yeah, we'll say Mac. Mac's yeah. defeatable. Yeah. yeah. He is defeatable. Yeah. Um, I do have Glass Joe, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in hey, the first time you played uh, Glass Joe with Mac, you probably lost against Glass Joe, right? Maybe. Maybe you think you lost the Maybe. first time? Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> now, all in right. all fairness, no. yes. I wrote this. Yeah. Yep. Not sure it's going to work. Okay, let's see what happens. We'll, we'll do see what, we what happens. Do. All right, battle number one takes place in Central City at nighttime. Flash, you find yourself outside Star Labs. Star Girl, you find yourself in an alley behind a LexCore office building in Central City. You are without your cosmic staff. Okay. Adam is the higher seed. He, he, uh, he got to choose the Flash. You get the first round, Star Girl. Uh-huh. Okay. What are you gonna do? First round, I would like to see if there's a way that I can enter the LexCore building. There is a front door. It is open. You can walk in. Okay, I walk into the LexCore building and I look around, looking for any form of a staff or a weapon that I can find. Do I see anything? You find a lobby full of uh, portraits of Lex Luthor, but hmm. no cosmic staff and no switch. So that ends my round. That is your round, Adam. Uh-huh. What do you do? You're the Flash. You're just wandering around outside Star Labs in the parking lot. Oh, wow. I, as a Flash, let's go inside Star Labs. Let's go inside of Star Labs. Flash goes inside Star Labs. You're yeah. in the lobby of Star Labs. Uh-huh. Let's picture Star Labs as it is on the TV show. Right. You have a room where uh-huh. your team works. No one's in there. Yeah. You're the only one in Star Labs mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. What are you going to do in Star Labs? I'm right going now? to quickly, with my super speed, 
try to find a hidden switch in Star Labs. I'm going to check every corner, every nook and cranny, every cabinet, every drawer, and see if there's a random switch I could press. Flash, you have found the first Ooh. switch. With your super speed, scouring Star Labs, you find a switch. It opens a vault in the basement of Star Labs. Ah. In that vault is Brainiac's mind-controlled helmet. Ooh. Oh, great. So, alien tech in Star Labs from Brainiac. It's a telepathic weapon, Stargirl. Wow. Remember, <laughs> you just gave Mac a machine gun against Glass <laughs> Joe. <laughs> it's all good, though. Yeah. yeah. I got this. My cosmic staff's coming. I'm going to find it. <laughs> so, we're going to flash back to, no pun intended, uh. Stargirl. You're wandering around the lobby of LexCore. Okay. I am actually being a gymnast. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I'm looking around trying to find a top secret room. Is there any rooms that look like they are heavily padded that I cannot, that I should try to get into? Well, uh, so uh, you're doing the whole building? Yeah, you're just doing backflips around the building. You're running I, around the building. I am, I'm using my athletic prowess to to get to higher ground. I'm not trying to lead. Oh, to higher ground, you say? Yes, ah. I do. So where does that higher ground find you? That higher ground finds me on uh, the the upper floors. The upper floors? Uh-huh. Do you keep going? Yes, I go to every <laughs> upper floor and try to open any room that is openable. Do you go outside? Absolutely. The roof? I went to the roof. Oh, on the roof. You find the second switch. Oh, wow. It's actually uh. switch number three. Inside switch number three, you push it. A trap door opens. Awesome. Inside that, you find a time cannon. It does plus five damage to speedsters. Ooh. You can only use it for three rounds, but you have to roll a four or more to, to use hit it. a speedster oh, wow. with the time cannon. Good deal. Well, they're a speedster. Yeah. But you've got a weapon that will hurt Okay. All right, so you now you're going to put that time cannon on your back, and uh, I assume you're starting to uh, walk out of the LexCore building off yes, the roof? Yes, yes. Right. Back to the flash. Now, with my Brainiac mind control helmet, what are the actual powers? This quickly, like, what are the powers? I mean, do I have to see the person to control them? How does this work? Is it telepathic? Can I see their thoughts? Is it yeah, Professor it's, X style? It, it's a telepathic. Okay. Yeah. And uh, within a certain distance, you actually could control their movements. Interesting. So with this with this helmet, could I find Stargirl and see her location? Is you that put the helmet on. You have a vision. It's a flash, flash. You see Stargirl. Ah. She's on the roof of the LexCorp building I want a, s- a block away. I want to speed to the LexCorp roof uh, top and about a block away. Let's go there. Let's, let's run speedily over there. Stargirl, you're trying to get the time cannon on your back. You're going to go down these, these long steps all the way down to the bottom floor. But before you even walk out the roof door, the flash appears. All right. And he's got a strange helmet on. Oh, wow. <laughs> Well, I'm going to shoot him. Uh, wow. <laughs> Just right off the Jeez. bat. Well, yeah. <laughs> let's go to uh, Flesh. What does yes. he have to roll to hit you? Uh, let's see here. We're going for my attack, I guess? Yeah. I have a speed burst melee of plus one, speed lightning throw plus two, and a running melee of plus two. Uh, that's all I'm seeing for that. Uh, oh, uh, super speed. You have super speed in the defense. You have super oh, defense, speed. Yeah. So an opponent must roll four or higher to land any direct right, attack. Right. That does include the weapon. Josh, roll the mm-hmm. die. One die? One die. Four or higher. Two. I missed. Oh. Royally. How many rounds do you have that for? Three. You have three. So well, that you... was the first try. Yeah. yeah. So that's the first one. Okay. okay. So you have two more shots with the time cannon. Uh-huh. Okay. Flash. Stargirl just fired this big ass uh-huh. weapon at you. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's turned into, uh, <laughs> to, what's his name? I need more cowbell. Uh, oh. uh, Peter, uh, Peter uh, Christopher, Christopher Walken. Walken. Yeah, yeah. He's got this gun. <laughs> gun aimed at you. <laughs> Uh, so he fired this can this cannon at you. It uh-huh. missed. Uh, well, what are you gonna do? Well, I, I came to be friendly, but I guess Stargirl is, is being uh kind of mean towards uh, my person here. So we're gonna uh, attack her back. Is what I'm gonna do? Uh, well, you need to roll a two or higher. Uh-huh. So roll a two. A oh, one. oh, oh wow. <laughs> I went so fast. I whiffed her. All right. I whiffed her by the one. In a lucky dodge, Stargirl. Wow. Uh. <laughs> The Flash missed you, yeah. so now what are you going to do? What I do first is give him double birds for missing me. <laughs> right. Because he is a speedster, and he should have jacked me off the roof right. immediately. Uh-huh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that cannon and aim it at him one more time. <laughs> uh, four or higher to hit with the cannon again. Uh-huh. Six. He, oh. You hit him with the cannon. You just knocked the Flash off the roof. 
Uh, the Flash takes five points of damage. Ooh, man. Oh, Stargirl wow. strikes first. Who would have thought? Wow, I'm down to 54 having points. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so you got to keep up with your points, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Did you roll? You rolled a six. Yes. So you hit. Yes. Uh, okay. Do I roll for damage? You roll for now? damage. Sorry. I roll for damage. Okay. Sorry. Okay. This is the first time we've done because this. Because his actual weapon does plus four. It, was it a plus four? Plus five. Plus five. Ooh. So you roll two die, four damage, add five Ooh. to whatever it is. Uh, four. So nine. I roll. Nine. Okay, oh, wow. sadly, I have a 50 of ha- having points left. Yeah, 50. so uh, do I need to keep... I probably need to if keep... You can, yeah, yeah. so yeah. I'm down to 50 having points. Josh still has... I mean, sorry, Stargirl still has how many? 40? I've got 45. Yeah, 40. So you still have more than me, and yeah, I just hit you with the time. I cannon. just whiffed with... I just I just fell off the, the rooftop. Oh, don't I worry. so fast, I just fell off the rooftop. Don't worry. <laughs> Flash, you're a little dazed. You just got uh-huh. hit with a time cannon. Yeah. Uh, you're hurt. Uh-huh. It didn't feel good. But you can uh, you can attack again. What are you going to do? I will attack again. Let's give it one more shot. All right, attack. There we go. You got to roll a two or higher. Oh my! One. God. All whiffed, right. I whiffed again. Right. That, apparently, that time cannon did more damage than we thought. <laughs> the flash I'm, I'm, just tried to attack you and missed. Okay. The first thing I'm going to say is, when are you going to pull your skirt off and hit me? <laughs> That's what I'm going to say first. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to hit him. Toward, I'm going to uh, try to hit him with his time cannon again. All right. A roll to see now, if you hit with Now wait a minute. Did cannon. I knock him off the roof? Well, I said knocked off the roof. Yeah, but, but he's the flash. Well, okay, he, he he's right, right back, back up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I've got to roll a four or higher to hit him with this again. A two, and uh, I miss royally. Oh, and, and the Tom gone. Cannon just Disappears. disintegrated into, yeah. in your hands. Well, Ooh. Oh, lucky shot for you, Flash. All right. Your super speed helped again. Uh-huh. He missed you. Yeah. Two shots with the Time Cannon. Yeah. Now it's your time to shine. What are you going to do? I'm gonna, I have to attack. Hey, call out your attack first, though. We should be doing that. My actual attack. I'm going to go, uh, let's do a running melee. Uh, running is, melee. plus two attack if I... If I hit. Yeah. And, and so this uh, Two or higher. Two or higher. Two or higher. There we go. Yeah. All right. three. Now roll uh, two die and then add uh, running melee two yeah, to it. Yeah, plus two on that. Let's do a Holy 13 shit. to it. Let's do a 13 to it. Golly. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying to hit a woman? <laughs> she hit me first. <laughs> I came uh, and, and then loved. So Wait a, a minute. Uh, Officially, girl, a she shot you first. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Star Girl, that's a pretty big hit. Yeah. I whiffed twice. I can at least get a thirteen. So forty-five minus what did you say? Uh, so thirty-two. I hit thirteen. Oh on wow! You. So yeah. thirty-two. Yeah. Mm. Yep. So rocking. All good. We're so rolling. close. Here. All right. All right. So here's what I do. You're a little stunned. Yeah. What are you gonna do? You're gonna fight. You're gonna fly. No, 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 no. I'm going down. In a uh, blaze of glory. No, I'm going down <laughs> into the building. Uh huh. And uh, I am going to uh, try to. Look and see if I can find a any room that's marked top secret. Ooh. You search the building. Okay. The Flash just kind of watches you. He's curious as to what you're doing. He watches you leave. You find no room labeled top secret. Okay. In right. the LexCorp building. But lots of portraits of Lex Luthor. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's so, not a hint, by the way. Okay. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So uh, that would probably wrap me up. That's your round. Yes, it is. No attack. Lucky break, Flash. Yeah, yeah. No attack. What are you going to do? Now, what locations are possible to a- a- attend here? Where can, I, where can I go, location-wise? Well, you're in Central City. All right. So you've been to Star Labs. Right, You can yeah. go back to Star Labs. Uh-huh. You're at the LexCorp building. Okay. You can wander the city and see what you find. Okay. Well, if we're in Lex- the LexCorp building, are we clo- Are we in around Metropolis? Are we around No, there? it's just a LexCorp building in Central right. City. We're talking Danger Room style. I yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, You know what? I believe... What round would you say we're on right now? If we had to get, we should be counting rounds. I would say, what what round would this be? Uh, you're right. We should be counting <laughs> rounds. It's all good. You think the uh, the 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 person you know talking would eh, keep up with that? It's all good. Um, if, just give me a number. Fourth. I say we're at round six. Round six. six? Yeah. Well, dang, because that super healing, I didn't use it. My first five rounds only. Yeah. Uh, let's do. Yeah, I'm going in for the kill. You're gonna go for the kill. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find her location using my my brainiac. Helmet once again and go for it. Okay, we'll try you to track her down. She is in the building, just She's walking up and down the halls. Yeah, is she looking for a restroom? We don't know. I don't know. Is she got to go. I'm gonna get her. <laughs> maybe. I'm gonna get her from the back. You can come in from the back. Yeah, yeah. Coward style. <laughs> yep. There we go. What attack are you gonna use? I'm gonna use the uh, the speed burst melee this time around. The speed burst melee. It's uh-huh. a plus one attack. It's plus one. Yeah. If you land, right, you have to roll a uh, two or higher. Let's do it. Rocking a six. six. Roll a six. Mm. Yeah. Barely hit me. All roll, right. roll doubles for the <laughs> roll doubles for damage. There we go with the plus one, two, well, so we have five. five. So six, yeah, six, six damage. Oh, so thirty-two minus six. Twenty-six. There you 26. Go. You're so good. Okay. <laughs> 
So you have 26. Uh-huh. You just got hit. The Flash sucker punched you from behind. True statement. I just you gave were, you a speed burst mainly for plus one. Uh, it's all While good. you're walking down the hall, Stargirl, what, what are you going to do? I run out and run one block to the Star Labs building. Oh. oh. oh you just ran back to Star Labs, okay? I did. I did. Yeah. Uh, as when I get to Star Labs, I enter Star Labs. Yeah. And I start looking for any. Uh, I start looking for uh, any any place where I can get into that may contain weapons. Do I see anything? Um, I mean, there's lots of stuff. There's lots of tech. A lot of it you don't understand. A lot of it you don't recognize. Some of it may be alien. Uh, there's some flash suits lying around, but you don't find anything that you deem to be useful to Sweet. you. Sweet. So I'm inside Star Labs hoping that the Flash doesn't come back and try to kick my ass. <laughs> right. But he's going to. Well, he's wearing Brainiac's helmet, too. He can find you wherever you are. True right? statement. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. That's your round? Well, I mean, it has to be, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean that, that was your really, action. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I did an action. I did like three actions, actually. <laughs> Stargirl is such a walkie. <laughs> yep. A walkie. Uh, she can't fly without her staff, JP. I know. <laughs> Uh, so Flash, yeah. uh, Stargirl just ran a block uh-huh. down the street. Uh, yeah. You didn't chase her at super speed, but no. you know she's there because right. you can follow her every move because, you, after all, you are wearing a Brainiac uh, exactly. mind control helmet. So with my speed, with uh, the mind control helmet, I want a little more fun to be had. So oh I'm going to start boy. searching around the, la- the, the LexCore lab for maybe like a Lex Luthor power suit, if that's around there. Any kind of thing that would help me in my battles. Uh, It is a Lex Corp. It's not the main Lex Corp building. After all, we know that's in Metropolis. It's kind of like, you know, it's like the the local office. Like the side warehouse. The local recruiting station. Amazon Interstate Warehouse. It's all offices. (laughs) Nothing, you don't don't find anything in your super search of the Uh Lex Corp building. You don't find anything else. I gotcha. I had already searched that thoroughly. (laughs) You did, didn't you? You did. That would be bad. Okay. You did. I guess that's my move. All right, so yeah. we are over to... We're 30 minutes into the show, by the way. Oh, okay. okay. Well. <laughs> uh, we're back over to uh, uh, Star Labs. Yeah. You haven't found anything. Uh, you haven't seen The Flash. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, I walk out of Star Labs, uh-huh. and I look around. What buildings do I see? Um, th- there's just like some parking lots, really. Uh, there's... Th- there's uh, there's a, an exit that kind of goes off to an interstate system about uh, about a quarter of a mile from you. Um, there's office buildings, but nothing that out of the ordinary. Just okay. typical standard city office buildings. I got you. You're a block away from LexCorp. You're also a block away from the uh, the alley. Okay, I walk. Started. I walk back to the alley and I look to in in every. I thoroughly look around the alley. Do I find anything that I can use? Searching the alley where you were earlier, you found switch number three. Mm. Yeah, mm. is that a good or bad switch? Those questions. It opens a trap door in the oh. alley wall, and out falls Star Girl's cosmic staff. Oh. There we go. That's what I'm talking no. about. That's what I'm talking about right there. No. So now you are armed with your cosmic staff. And uh, the Flash has uh, Brainiac's helmet. Those are all the switches have been found wow. in this battle. There we go. Wow, there now, we here's go. a question. Yeah. If I am hovering in the air mm-hmm. with my staff, right. which I will be, yeah. can he get to me? Or does it give me any extra... Well, I mean, I it, think the Flash could not. I mean, right? Well, he could run no. up the side of the building and jump at you for That's sure. True. He would yeah. have to. and leap from building to building. That's yeah. a true statement. So, are you hovering above the building now? Is that what you do? Oh yes. Your first action with the cosmic staff, absolutely, is to hover. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. What do you think about that? Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, Flash, uh-huh. uh, you're inside uh-huh. uh, the LexCorp building. You didn't really find anything. You couldn't find Lex's power suit, mm-hmm. but you did since since uh, through the helmet. Uh, a change in the mental state right. of Stargirl. When you tune into her brain waves, you see that she has recovered her cosmic staff and is floating above the LexCorp building. Okay, to to be fair, and I'm going against myself, um, every hit that he's hit me should have been plus two more because I haven't had the staff till now. So every hit that, I, that I've taken thus far, how many times has he hit me? Twice, I believe. Twice. Twice. Yeah. So yeah. you need to take four more points off. Oh, oh yeah. So what am I That's down to? So honest. So what am I down to? Twenty one. Uh, Twenty one. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Wow. Uh, and he still has fifty points. I'm, I'm just being honest. <laughs> Look, <laughs> it's a good call. I, I got, hey, I, hey. I, I mean, I wrote these, and uh, I'm not reading them all the way through. So yeah, anything you find like that, please. So uh, using my, my Brainiac helmet, I sense the uh, disturbance in the Star Girl Force, and I come outside <laughs> looking for her and her staff. I look up in the sky. I see Star, Star Girl hovering. With the staff, and using my Brainiac helmet, I force her to drop the staff on the ground below oh, in the alley. Be 
and I attempt to pick it up. You have successfully forced her to drop the cosmic staff, and now you <laughs> you have it in your hand. Well, <laughs> ain't that some shit? Right there. Uh, the cosmic staff can produce uh, energy blast. <laughs> it can also allow the holder to hover and fly. Uh, you can also use. You now have melee. like a plus twenty to <laughs> anything now, that happens. It's now Mike Tyson versus uh, Little Mac. Pretty exactly. Much. You can also form no, an energy. Mike Tyson versus Glass Joe. <laughs> Go ahead. You can also form an energy shield around you. Oh wow! Using the cosmic steed. <laughs> this is awesome. This is great. One shot kills right now. <laughs> Next shot he lands. Uh, well, I mean, you know, it, it, you know, anything can happen. <laughs> I've got to roll a seven to even hit him. In yeah. The- <laughs> yeah. I got to roll a seven on a six sided um, die. Yeah. You, gotta, <laughs> you have to roll a four for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he's using the. You have to- <laughs> this is great. This is awesome. <laughs> You'd have to use two die and roll at least eight. To yeah. what? To hit. But he can only use that shield for three rounds. Oh, okay. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, he can only use the energy shield for three rounds. All right. Okay. So I I plummet from the sky. Do I take fall fall damage? You fall to the alley. Can we say you go like face first in the pavement? Do I I have to roll to see if I took damage when I fell? (laughs) No. Okay. (laughs) Sorry. We're not going to go there. Just want to see if I died. Nope. (laughs) Already. (laughs) So you fall... You look up, and there stands the Flash, wearing Brainiac's helmet <laughs> and holding your cosmic staff. First thing I do is look at him and say, son of a bitch. <laughs> and you give triple burns. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I don't even know what to do at this moment. Uh, so so what I do is I just run up to try to punch him in the face. All right. <laughs> I that's, mean, that's all I got. That's going to be a that's, plus two melee if you hit. That's what I'm talking about. Did I'm going to punch gotta him. you got to roll eight. <laughs> I got to roll two die and get at least eight. eight. Here we go, that's boys. That's very possible. Here, here, here we go. I got a okay. five. It works. Mm. <laughs> well, mm. you uh, don't even land a glancing blow. Yeah. Nope. Not even close. And even if I had, he's got a shield on. Because <laughs> clearly, this is this is good. All right, over to you, Flash. Uh, you just I, saw Star Girl. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't run. <laughs> she stood up to you. <laughs> That's true. And as uh, as as good as that is, I've got to give her a good swift kick with some speed lightning throw. I'll give her a speed lightning throw. Wait, what's, what is his plus, considering he's holding the staff? <laughs> well, I mean, if he attacks with the staff, he'll get the plus on the uh, on the, on the on the attacks. Uh-huh. Gotcha. What's, the, but what's right the plus now, on that? What's well, the, the staff energy the, burst? Right, right now, I mean, he could choose to do a staff energy burst How if much he is wanted to. It's plus three. Does it have a limited amount? Three rounds you can use it. Let's do. Let's go for the the staff. Staff I, energy yeah, burst. Let's do All that. Right. What do I have to roll for that? A two. A two. <laughs> Good deal. Oh, I want to get. See, I've never used this to this weapon before, so I'm not sure how it works. Yes. I fired it off awesome. prematurely. The flash awesome. fires prematurely. If you know what I'm saying. Yep. Uh. Yeah. Wow. Flash. Uh. That's amazing. I've got a lot of extra weight. The helmet. The the force. Field, I mean, the the staff. It's a lot of new things so, I'm not used to. So we are standing in the alley, and I do the DX crotch <laughs> chop at him. Is yeah. what I'm doing. Right. Okay. The crotch chop. Because he just missed. Because he missed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, with and your I, staff, with my staff, and uh, so I'm gonna run and try to punch him again because that's all I got, <laughs> and I gotta roll at least an eight. Well, uh, you get a plus two on uh, on the punch, but you do have to roll an eight to land it. I hit a seven. Oh, oh. so close! Just the last minute, the last minute dodge to it. <laughs> right well, by. and then there's that. Let's use that staff one more time for my yeah. second of three tries here. Yep. Okay, only got to roll a two. So Let's it's go gonna for... be a staff energy burst. Yeah, staff energy for. burst. Mm. Second try here. We there got a six. six. Okay, and you land. Bare, barely hit me. So I'm rolling two here. Yep. Two die. Two die. <laughs> two die, and it gets a, pl- uh, a four on that. A four, four plus, plus three. Plus okay. three. So, so you got seven. You got seven. Down so I'm down. Fourteen. To fourteen. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Nice. You're bloody. You're limping. Ribs are crushed. I am. But you're still in it. You're still kicking. You're in it to win it. Got this. Just gonna run up and keep. I'm just it blunt force. I'm I'm going right at his face. No, I'm going for his balls. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him right. Is that, in the is that a plus two ball hit? Yep. Do I get Do I get any added bonus? Uh, you know, uh, we'll count it as a uh, no because you don't have your staff. <laughs> you okay. get a plus two. You get a plus two if you I gotta win. do. I gotta hit at least an eight to even but hit him. The good news is this is the last round that you have to hit an eight. Oh, there yeah. we go. Because this okay. is the last round with the staff. Eight oh. is what I got. Oh, she's still so in it. I hit. She's still in it. Okay, so I hit him right in the cods, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, and then we're gonna roll for damage, You're right? Rolling for damage, and I got a four. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, well uh, four. Some, it's a six. Not bad. Six. Yeah. So he's. So you're down to what? What a forty. What was that? Four fifty or fifty-one? Yeah, fifty. So you're down to forty-four. Yeah, yeah. That's not bad. 
Well, I only started with 45, so I've essentially done. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens Nothing. when a number yeah. eight takes on a number four. four. Yeah. yeah, true statement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, surprise attack! I, that, I, I'm shaken. I'm stirred. I'm like a martini. But in the, my final, I have one more attack with the staff, right? You've t- tried for three. Have I used three already? Oh, so the staff just like disintegrates. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. Wait wow. a minute. I don't even get it back. After three attacks, it's gone, right? Or maybe well, like, uh, let's say you drop it. I drop. That's it. a good point because it is her weapon. That it would was, be unfair okay. to take it off the. And that was a good field. attack you had on me. So in yeah. that in that frenzy of uh, of pain, <laughs> I get shocked and drop the staff. And I'm you know I'm like I'm pissed. I'm done. I don't need the staff. It's not mine. I go for a straight up running melee for a plus two attack if I roll there we go. two yeah. or higher. Correct. <laughs> let's yep. go. Let me get a, a five. five. You got me. So we're going to plus two on a nine. Oh, so eleven. Nine. Eleven. <laughs> well, I'm down to three hit points, <laughs> but. I think you pick your staff up now, right? The okay. staff is the, laying there. The final stand in the alley with the I staff. I pick the staff up, <laughs> and with the last bit of my bloody body, I <laughs> aim this staff at him. And what do I have to hit, or what do I have to roll? It says when I've got my staff, I have to roll a two or higher? No. No, The your opponent has to roll a four or higher to hit you now That's that you what have your is. staff. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay, so I roll what to hit him? Uh, you have to roll a four. Four higher to a hit him. Four with one die. Yep. I roll a one, <laughs> and so essentially, let me tell you what I'm going to do. Uh huh. I'm just going to walk over to him and put my hands behind my back. So if he rolls anything, <laughs> he can kill me right now. Okay. <laughs> Josh just wants this in, over. In a, in a symbol of your uh, good sportsmanship, I'm going to run up the side of Star Labs, up the top of the side of the building there, and give a Macho Man Randy Savage elbow drop from the rooftop Okay, uh, oh, for wow. a running melee elbow drop. We'll see if that hits. Okay. It does. Four, it yeah. does hit for sure. For oh, wait a minute. Oh. Uh, four or higher. Yeah, you, okay. you hit it. It hits. And so for plus two, and we're going he for a destroys seven. me. Seven. I, she's dead. Uh, Star Girl is out of havoc points. Wow. The winner. With the Macho Man elbow drop, too. It was. Is <laughs> The Flash has won this first battle. Well played. Yep. Congratulations, Flash. It was a stat. Once you lost the staff, it was over, I think. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Take your victory lap, staff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Flash. Okay, done. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, you, want, you want another one? <laughs> okay, I'm back. All right. Well, Stargirl has been eliminated. Uh, but it played out realistically. I think if Flash and Stargirl. Oh, he would him, completely yeah. wax her. Yeah. yeah. And she would barely touch him. Yeah. All right. Let's take a break and we'll come back for. <laughs> The second battle of eight. (laughs) (laughs) Next. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Cornflake. So we host the Flopcast. We cover nerd and geek subjects of all types, but this is sort of a sillier, goofier side of geekdom, I'd say. We love to talk about music, especially funny music. We talk about comic books, conventions. Saturday morning cartoons! Oh yeah. I'd say if you're going to put the Flopcast in Brady Bunch terms, we're like the Cousin Oliver of podcasting. (laughs) And we do a ridiculous new Flopcast episode every week. What is wrong with us? We really have nothing else to do. (laughs) We're part of the Earth Station One Podcast Network. And you can find us at Flopcast.net. Welcome back to the podcast rule. Holiday Hero Havoc 2017. I feel like Hans Zimmer. Is that what that is? <laughs> Some yeah, Hans Zimmer good. music. It's definitely a ripoff. Tug Bodie. We just watched Stargirl fall prey to a very vindictive flash. I got to say, that was very unflashed. You think so? Yeah. The Macho Man elbow drop? Yeah. He really? bitch slapped me. <laughs> 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 All right, so that takes us to battle number two. We have the number two seated Green Lantern. Oh, yeah, man. Who will be Josh. Man. I hate hell, George. Taking on the number <laughs> seven seed Cyborg. Uh, okay, okay. All right. So I'll give you a second to go through and pull up your, our, your our Cyborg. Hero file. Green Lan- yeah, your hero file. Your Havoc file. And I will do the same. So did you like that first round? I like that a lot. I think, we'll, I think we'll go faster now, having a better understanding of how this RPG works. I yeah, believe did so. Did you see who the high, the number one seed in the Marvel is? No. Hulk is the number one seed in really? the Marvel. Really? I mean, that yeah, makes yeah. sense. I mean, power-wise. Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. 
All right, so we have the Green Lantern taking on Cyborg. Right. Have I ever told y'all Drew is a huge Green Lantern fan? He's, mm-hmm. I mean, and I've always. I don't know. I've loved him. I always have. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've always not cared that much for Green really? Lantern. And it's funny because when I read the All Star Batman and Robin, mm-hmm. like Batman kicks his ass. Really? Really? He, him and Robin paint an entire room yellow. Uh, <laughs> with, with wooden walls, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, set him down in it. And pretty. Uh, Robin tries to kill him. Really? Robin crushes his, uh, what do you call it? Uh, his with throat. Larynx. <laughs> yeah. larynx. Yeah. And uh, Batman has to give him a tracheotomy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. Hey, Frank Miller's uh he's a bit yeah. vicious when you yeah, when bit. he writes. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, go ahead. Al Jordan uh, versus yeah, it's Cyborg. Al Jordan, Green Lantern versus Cyborg. Uh Cyborg, I'll let you give a little just a brief a right. little bit of your bio. Yeah, my name is Vic Stone. I'm a former college athlete, of course. Uh, my tech support uh, is weapons. I uh, supports weapons and life support. I'm a member of the Justice League of America, of course, and I'm half man, half machine, but I'm all Vic. <laughs> <laughs> I have powers. Sure. I have powers such as super strength, teleportation, hacking, and I have a full tech arsenal. And my weaknesses are alien computer viruses. Sweet. And uh, yeah. I have havoc points. Well, I have fifty-three havoc points. We'll talk about attack and defense later on. Are you want those now? What do you want? Yeah, we'll go along. We'll get those if we go okay. along. Yeah. Uh, Green Lantern, Hal Jordan. Hal Jordan was an Air Force pilot chosen by as a Green Lantern by the ring itself. Protector of Sector 2814. He's a member of Justice League of America. He's part of the Green Lantern Corps. His powers are hard light constructs, instant weaponry, force fields, flight, and durability. His weakness is the color yellow. Any yellow-based weapon does plus three damage and penetrates force fields. Uh, force fields, uh, well, I mean, you want to get into all that. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the force fields will last one round and yeah, 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 must yeah. rest one round before reuse. And constructs last two rounds and cannot be duplicated in battle. There we go. So here we have it. Yeah. A little Hal Jordan action going nope. against the Cyborg. If the record, I feel like Cyborg's defense is pretty high on this in general. So first off, I have an energy field, uh, so you must roll a four or higher to land any attack. And also, I always have a chance to teleport from your attack if I roll a four or higher myself. Right. So you've got to roll a four or higher, and if you do, I get to roll. If I roll a four or higher, that negates that, I guess. Yep. So his, his defense is pretty good. He's quick yeah. and speedy and defenseful. That's about all he's got, though. That's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> he is what, strong many, on the defense. How many Havoc points do you have? Does Green Lantern have? Uh, he has 68. Ah, how many? Do, how many? 53. This is the problem. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's why you have good defenses. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. you could, at just random times throughout this game, if you uh-huh. could say his catchphrase of booyah, yeah. could you do that? <laughs> I could do that, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just making sure. Booyah. booyah. <laughs> uh, so here, let me set the stage for battle number two. We're in the podcast role battle arena. Uh, it has been transformed into Gotham City. During the oh, day. Wow. Green Lantern, you find yourself inside the Wayne Enterprises building there in Gotham. There we go. Cyborg, you're standing in your apartment building. You're standing at the window. You look down to the alley behind your window. Batman's Batmobile is parked in the alley behind you. Uh, there we go. So, okay. Josh, you get to go. Uh, Josh went first last round. Cyborg, you are the low seed. You get to go first. Okay. Uh, I see this Batmobile outside of my building, and I decide to hop in it, of course. I'm going to check out the uh, the tech inside there. Yeah, but it's locked. It's locked. Ah. And the actual, the, the windshields and everything is totally bulletproof and uh, impact proof, I would imagine. So, huh? Yep. And I can't use any of my tools. I, mean, I use my, my cannons, my lasers. I try to get inside this Batmobile, and nothing happens. Ooh. You just did four points of damage to the Batmobile itself. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. And that's where I am. I'm going to continue trying to beat inside that Batmobile. I mm. want inside that tech. Okay. I'm a tech junkie, you know. All right. Batman's going to be mad. Eh. We're, we're all buddies here. We're all buddies. <laughs> all right, Green Lantern, you're hanging out in Gotham. You're in the Wayne Enterprises building. Okay. I go and try to By find... By the way, you just heard some gunfire, which you <laughs> suspect is probably three, four blocks away. Okay. I go and I find the closest terminal, and I and I and I start uh, working on it to find out where the Batmobile is. You're working on one of the computer terminals. Yes, I am. In a computer terminal in Wayne Enterprises, you stumble upon switch number one. There wow. we go. That computer terminal actually releases a computer virus oh. that Batman has developed to control Cyborg oh. if he ever. 
That is the luckiest thing you will <laughs> That's do. That's what I'm this talking about. Entire payback, wow. a bitch. <laughs> wow. So as I'm trying to bust into you the battle, even. I start projectile vomiting. <laughs> you release the cyborg computer virus for four rounds. Cyborg, oh, you wow. must take two points of damage for each round, starting wow. with this round right now. So wow. you're now down to uh, 51 points of damage. Wow. In my weakened about. state, and I noticed the actual virus hit me the moment I started hitting the Batmobile, the problem must be from uh, Wayne Enterprises itself. So I rush there using my uh, whatever cyborg speed to go to Wayne Enterprises a and bo- see what the problem is. boom tube? Yeah, my boom tube. There we While go. While screaming booyah, projectile vomiting down the alley, <laughs> I'm running to Wayne Enterprises to find out where the source of uh, this virus came from to stop it once and for all. Okay. As I enter the doors of Wayne Enterprises, I hear some clicking around up top, and I see a soft green glow coming from one of the computer terminals. <laughs> oh, look. There's the green lantern. Sweet. And I see him at this uh, computer terminal. Uh-huh. I'm like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cyborg just showed up. You know, the guy you just released the computer virus into. Gotcha. So yeah. I walk. So this is round number three. three. Okay. Yeah. So I walk outside. I construct a Gatling gun, uh, <laughs> a, a Gatling gun with my Green Lantern ring, and I attack him with it. Okay. Uh, what do we have to roll to attack? You have to roll a four or higher because yeah. he does have an energy field. Mm-hmm. Okay. The virus doesn't affect the energy field. You have to roll a four or higher to land an attack with your Gatling gun. A, you roll one, a one, and I miss royally. Uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, cyborg. Uh, Green Lantern does not like you. No. Uh, you realize he's the one that's released the virus right. that is affecting you. Uh, this is the second of four rounds. Right, yeah. Um, and on top of that, he just like constructed yeah. a Gatling gun and tried to shoot you. That's a terrible, terrible thing. And, and in my the midst of my projectile vomiting while screaming booyah, I'm going to bring up my tech energy burst. I'm going to have an alteration to it. Make, but it he, a, make it a yellow energy burst this time around. Oh, oh. No. And he does, oh. hey, he does take two points of damage just off the top every, because yeah. he's right. still right. Every virus. four rounds, yeah. yeah. So he's now down to 49. Oh, wow. So I'm, I'm going to alter my tech energy burst to make it a, a yellow energy burst this round if I can. Okay. And just a heads up, yeah. because you're three seeds or more than three seeds lower than me, uh-huh. if you miss, you yeah. take a point of damage. Ooh, That's true. Okay, okay. Now yep. what is the actual damage with the, uh, the, the, the yellow? What's the... Uh, on that? Yeah, any yellow plus based three. weapon does plus three. Okay. And penetrates any force field, but he doesn't have a force field up right Am now. Am I so allowed you don't have to? to about al- that. Can I legally alter this to make it a yellow beam for once? Can I do that? Should I roll to see if I can do that? No, no, no. I can just do it? Yeah. We're doing it. Yeah, yeah it's do your this. tech. I mean, doing you yeah. got this. Yeah. You can manipulate your own tech. Uh, so but yeah. you must roll a three or higher to Let's land the attack. Three or higher. Here we go. Five. Oh, you land it. the attack. Okay. Now roll double die to see what happens. It's only a three. Three. Plus three. He three. six. So, well, my tech energy burst so is plus three. How much is, is the yellow? I'm, oh, the, the yellow is plus, plus three. Tech three. energy burst Six. plus three. So it'll be a nine total. So nine, nine total. Yeah. So I took. Uh, I'm down to fifty nine. Yep. All right. Here we go. All right. So you and you're down to forty nine. Yep. But you uh, you have two more rounds. Mm. This is round four. Okay. Yeah. This is round four. All right. Round four. Green Lantern, you okay. just got hit with a yellow uh, energy burst from uh, Cyborg. What are you going to do? Okay, what what is Cyborg's uh, weaknesses besides uh, well, just, the, the, just the virus? virus. Computer, computer virus, virus yeah. and that's it. Yeah. Okay, so I construct a big rig, <laughs> and I'm going to run him over. <laughs> But here's the I kicker. I feel like Josh may use this <laughs> to live some Green Lantern fantasies. Yep. Maybe he has had yep. Four or higher, right? Four or higher, yep. Okay, I Ooh. rolled a one, yeah. which means I completely missed him. Evidently, Green Lantern has been drinking heavily <laughs> all day. All day. Oh, Cyborg. He just constructed a rig, yeah. jumped in it, right. pulled the air horn, <laughs> <laughs> and the engine died. Right, yeah. <laughs> And just drove right by you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, after he misses me, I'm going to use way, my... Huh? And this is all within the Wayne Enterprise lobby. <laughs> yes. Yes. We're true. assuming this is spilled outside. <laughs> yep. For sure. So in the alley, after he, he whiffs me with the uh, the construct of the 18-wheeler, I'm going to teleport into the driver's seat of that 18-wheeler and try to attack him with his own weapon, if I can do that. Uh, with his own weapon? Yeah. Is that possible? With the rig? Yeah. I want to teleport. That's one of my powers to teleport into the... Uh, you could teleport into the rig, but I don't know how you would take control of the rig. 
So you can teleport into You're the right. seat beside him. You're right. You know what? Let's go for some uh, some standard old uh, tech cannon plus two. All right, tech okay, cannon so plus two. I'm going for the basics here. There right. you go. After all, what, a four higher? Mm-hmm. A, a six. six. Wow. Uh, okay, roll double. And the tech cannon is a plus two on that, by the way. So we have a six and eight is what I put on it. Nine, ten? Yep. So you're I'll down. Oh, no, eight, eight total. Oh, eight total? Yeah. So you're down to 51? Yes. Right? Yeah. That'd be correct. And you're down to 47? Mm hmm. This is round five. This is the last round you have to take yeah. the damage from the computer virus that all right. you released that started all of this, Green Lantern. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. So my turn. Yep. Okay. Uh, what I do... He just teleported into the seat beside you and, and basically sucker punched you. <laughs> oh, yeah. He definitely did that. Yeah. So what I do is I, I, I kill that rig. <laughs> uh, I actually turn into a... Uh, I, I do, with my green lantern ring, I make a lion and I make it attack him. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, an okay. And any kind of animal constructs get a plus one. Ah, nice. That's true. So anyway, got to roll a four or higher, right? Yep. yep. Three. Oh, <laughs> wow, um, Green Lantern, not yeah. doing so well today. Yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> this is why is, I hate Hal it, Jordan. It has been downhill ever since you released the computer virus. It's very true, <laughs> very true. The only damage I've done toward him was because of a computer virus <laughs> that I accidentally released, which is wonderful. It's great. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, so the computer virus. Has gone away. Right. So you don't lose any points this go around. So, but Green Lantern did just try to attack you with a line. That's true. It's a true statement. So back at full strength, I'm double pissed. I go back to that alley where I saw the Batmobile. Uh -huh. Using my super strength, I will pick it up and give a flying attack and throw it down upon Hal Jordan for a plus one. Wow. All right. Well, let's see if you throw the Batmobile at Hal Jordan. A I three. Not, I got three. Uh, he, he, he dodged out of the way. I got out of the way. <laughs> Green Lantern. Okay. <laughs> He just threw the Batmobile at you. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a force field around myself. Uh-huh. Okay. And then, after I create the force field, I am going to create a uh, a, 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 a lightsaber out of uh, out of my, my Green Lantern ring. Like a, like a Star Wars lightsaber. And I'm going to throw it at him. You're going to throw it at him. Yep. Okay. Oh, All yeah. right. So For that's sure. a weapon construct. Which will be a plus two. Which will be a plus two, right? But I have to get at least a four. Right. No whammies, no whammies. A six. There you go. All a right. Six. I do have my chance to teleport from attack. If I roll a four or higher, if I If he rolls I, I a four or higher, he can dodge it. Yep. Ah. So two, and it's going to be a plus two to what I, whatever I roll. A two. <laughs> I rolled snake eyes. Are you serious? <laughs> the first time I physically hit him, and I rolled snake eyes. But so it's I, four. I hit him for four damage. Yeah. For, so he's down to 43. Okay. I'm not very far ahead of him. <laughs> and you're at 51. Okay. And I do, ha I do have a shield. Right. Okay. You do have the shield. Correct. But, but it, only, it only lasts for one round, which would be this round. This and round. then the next round, I cannot have it. I have to wait. Uh, it, Does the shield gotta... block all attacks or a certain amount, certain points? Uh, it Opponent must roll four or higher to penetrate the force field. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you must roll a four uh, or higher. So seeing the which, upside. by the way, uh, it's th it, it has been three or higher to land the attacks without the force field. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. Sorry. That's good. Uh, seeing the smoldering upside down Batmobile that I, I wrongfully threw at you earlier. Now, it, now wait a minute. Did yeah. you take the damage? No, he did not. Okay, from missing that. From missing it. You're at 42. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, so I, I use my super strength to flip it back over, and while doing this, I see a console on the side of it uh, with an actual circuit board. And using my hacking ability, I'm going to uh, kind of tie in my own tech cannon inside of the cannons of the Batmobile and use that as my personal weapon for one round. For a plus two attack towards you, if I can. On the, you're going to use the Batmobile, Batmobile as a it, weapon. I'm going to hack All into right. there, using my own cannons, hack into the Batmobile. I can't believe you thought of that uh -oh. because uh, we need to pull up the Batman card. Oh, no. Does it have its own thing? Yep. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did you hit a switch? I, I did, uh oh. No, he didn't hit a switch. He's using the Batmobile as a weapon, and yeah. the Batmobile weapons are on the Batman card. Uh -huh. Oh. I just broke the system. Didn't mean to. I saw a circuit board. I had to. I'm a hacker. There you go. Batmobile weapons plus five to all opponents. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but if he does not roll a four for the first time, he, he doesn't penetrate my Right. He has to roll shield. a four. Yeah, okay. You have to roll a four. A ah. two. And you missed, and you're below the three seed, which means yeah. you're down one more point. Man, they just like bounced off and came right back at me. 
But and also there's a rule with the with the Batmobile. How many does it have a uh, a round rule for using the Batmobile? Let's see here. The Batmobile has ten points itself, so it has six points left. Assuming that we haven't done any more damage to it, <laughs> me throwing it from you yeah. <laughs> from the sky. We're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. <laughs> um, but no, you can keep using the Batmobile as a okay. Yep, until it's it has zero points. Yeah. Okay. So it's at what I say seven. Yeah. Okay. So uh, he just uh, fired the uh, the Batmobile weapons at you. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my um, I'm going to use. Wait a minute. My shield is gone, right? Or no? Well, you used it the run one round. Yeah, yeah. I've got it the one round. Yeah. Okay. I want to use my. You rest this round, but you can bring it back in the next round. Gotcha. I want to use my tech. To build a, uh, a sh- I can't build a shield. Never mind. I was going to build something around the Batmobile <laughs> where he couldn't use it. No. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. Right. So in other words, so okay. Now I'm going to build an aircraft. I mean, not an aircraft carrier. A uh, like a like a F-16 jet, which and I'm would gonna, count as a weapon construct. No, yeah. a vehicle. Con- oh, it's a weapon and a vehicle. Ooh. We're gonna we're gonna call an audible here and say it's a plus three. <laughs> okay, plus three. So I want to crash it into him while I'm shooting at him. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So plus plus. Uh, I gotta hit. I gotta do four just to hit him, right? Right. No whammies. No whammies. I got a five. Five. Nice. Oh, okay. Roll. Roll two die. I got a seven. Seven plus oh. three is ten. Ooh. Ooh, that takes you to thirty-five. That's a big one. That is a big one. Thirty-five, and you still have fifty-one Green Lantern. Okay. Wow. All right. Wow. Let's uh, reset here, Cyborg. Reset. Uh, you're trying to fire the Batmobile. Yeah, not working so well. No, uh, it was a good try. Yeah. It was very smart. Yeah. Well played. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's Green Lantern. Uh-huh. He just crashed a fighter jet into right. you and yeah. fired at you at the same time. Yeah. You're hurt, but you're not out. No, are we in daytime or nighttime? I've forgotten. Daytime. Daytime. That's a problem. Yeah. That's a problem. I think it's time to go back to my just standard old tech cannon okay. with that yellow mod- modification All to right. it. All right. He's going to modify it to a yellow yeah. weapon. There we, there we go. Plus three. Oh, I'm gonna do it uh, again. <laughs> Here we go. The tides are turning, my friend. The right. tides are turning. Green Lantern, you okay. just dodged a yellow bullet. Very good. So what I do is I create a tank from my ring, uh-huh. the, and I'm going to fire the tank at him while running him over. Okay. Okay. Once yeah. again, this will count as a weapon vehicle construct, so it'll be plus three. Ooh. Five. Five. Can which, I use my which I hit. chance yep, to dodge, try to dodge. with yep. a four or higher? And I missed it. Uh, okay. I'm getting weak. I'm getting weak. Ooh. Okay, a nine Ooh. plus three. It's a 12. 12. 12. 12 off that is of his. not good, guys. Yeah. Uh, so you're at 23. 23 mm. points, Cyborg. 51 points, <sighs> Green Lantern. Mm. Now, did he hit last time he uh, attacked me? No. No. Okay. Mm-mm. But he took his damage. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. A so rocket. At, that's why he's at 23. Gotcha. I'm bloody. I'm bruised. I'm sparking from places I didn't know I could spark. There you go. There's, uh, no, there's not a mother box to be found. <laughs> I shuffle over to uh, back to the uh, the circuit board on, on the Batmobile, and I change with my hacking. Uh-huh. I, I see you're in the actual the, the lane of the headlights of the Batmobile, the one that is still working, and I, I hack that to make it a, a bright yellow headlight. Oh, wow. I'm going to give you a tech energy burst with that, with you in the yellow he was You're alive. modifying the Batmobile I to am. shoot a yellow energy burst. <laughs> and I didn't think to put my you shield You did not up. put your shield yeah. back up. Mm-hmm. What about so we're that? We're going for that. And I missed you again. Two. Wow. You were in the shield, but I just couldn't, so, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't so that he execute. takes a point of damage yep. because he missed. So you're at 22. All right. I'm trying here. All right. All right. So so here's here's what I do here. Yep. Well, this alley's got to be torn up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> completely. Completely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct a motorcycle. And I'm <laughs> with my ring, and I'm going to have a gorilla on the motorcycle. <laughs> and that gorilla is going to be punching him while I crash the motorcycle into so, him. So it's only a plus two with an animal construct and a vehicle construct. <laughs> right? Right. Okay. I would love to. This is the movie I want to see. <laughs> this is the JLA I want to see. So I hit a, a one. that The monkey actually <laughs> drives past him, waves at him, <laughs> and just keeps going. It crashes into the wall. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Wow. When that light construct crashes into the wall, Adam, <laughs> yes. it disappears. The monkey disappears, but it does the damage to the wall and reveals a switch oh. behind the alley wall. 
I'm okay. going to shuffle over and press that switch. Is what I'm going to do. That is switch number two, <laughs> which resets this room. You're now on a, a, a space station. No gravity. No gravity. Wow. Okay. Awesome. Luckily, Green Lantern. So now you're just floating. Ooh. So he can't really move. Ooh, boo, yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> he can. He, he does have the flight. Right? Yeah, 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 So yeah. he's got the thrusters that he can control himself. Yeah, yeah. But he yeah. can't stand still. It's right. not so good. It's more like in, in was it Gravity? With, uh, what's your face with the, the fire hydrant? Remember yeah. that? <laughs> it's like that. It's I haven't seen that. So Is it good? It's terrible. No. Good deal. <laughs> she runs out of booster for her, her astronaut space jetpack. And uses, a uses an actual fire hydrant. <laughs> this is yeah. legitimate. This, <laughs> this is an Oscar nominated movie. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's kind of like that. All right. So what are we looking like? Now, is he well, in space with me? Yeah, you're okay. both in space. Well, we both You've got completely teleported. reset okay. the location. You're on a lunar outpost. That's okay. what I was trying to think of. Okay. A lunar outpost. Like, okay, like Moonraker. Yeah, yeah. You're on a space station. <laughs> yeah. So when, when my monkey crashed, does that end <laughs> my round? <laughs> yeah, well, that ended that round. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> and revealed a switch. <laughs> yes. Okay. That now puts you on a space station <laughs> Very good. near the moon. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Luckily, you're the Green Lantern. That's, That's it. True. You're fine up there. Yeah. But gotcha. Bear in mind, you're on a space station. Yeah. yeah. So but what are you it's do? his go. Is this? I thought. Oh, we're, no, he did. I thought pressed the switch. He's he. Oh, his so action the switch was, was the the was, was the yeah. Okay. Yeah. It revealed the switch. He chose to push it. So if I put my, uh, can I attack and put my shield on all in one round? Yeah. I mean, you can use your shield at any round. Okay. I'm but using, you can only use it this round and then not use it the next. You have to rest the next round. Okay. But, but if you I have put, to call it, I'm not. I can't do it automatically. Okay. But I'm putting my shield on. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to attack. But the way that I'm going to attack is I'm going to construct. And by the way, can I can I get some some uh, clarification? What is a ring beam? You know, oh, just actual... the, yeah, the okay. beam that comes out of the ring. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, why would you? Never mind. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> just wondering, why would you construct that versus something else? It's not a con- it's not a construct. It's okay. an actual, it's like an actual weaponized like, beam that like comes Superman's, out of the ring. Like uh, Superman's, his heat vision kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah, I got you. I just yeah. didn't know, you know, it's a plus one. Why wouldn't I construct a weapon pretty much every time? Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. I mean, you have the choice. Okay. So I construct a Patriot missile. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Bringing, bringing back from the Gulf War. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. Patriot missile. Yeah. So I construct a Patriot missile, and I throw it at him with, with my ring. And uh, <laughs> let's see if we can <laughs> hit him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just whiz it at him. So here we go. Bigger than four, and I got a three, and right. I miss. Wow. Uh, well, uh, Green Lantern, not realizing yeah. the uh, you know the physics of space, <laughs> just constructed a missile and gently floated it to you. <laughs> yes, it went right by you. Yeah. Now remember, uh-huh. if you choose, this missile will be available the next round. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got you. Because your constructs last two rounds, except for the monkey and the light, because it crashed into the wall. Of course, <laughs> clearly. All right, all right, Cyborg. Almost running out of ideas because my arsenal isn't that big. You're like a human. Uh, Scud stud. Right, he just yeah. Dodged a Patriot missile. Let's, uh, he's, I'm, I'm getting pissed now. So let's try that, that tech energy burst. Once again, hacked with a yellow hue to it for a plus three or a plus four. I guess seven total if it hits. Yeah. There we go. Is that right? Because it's. He got a six. six. He, he six. landed very I have a plus nicely. three tech energy burst, and is it yeah. plus four but, for yellow, correct? But, but, exactly. But first exactly. off, I had a, um, I had an energy he, field he on, the, which yeah. means that you. You just bursted through it, so okay. now do you? Ha- does he have to roll again to see if he hits? Right. That would. Yeah. That was that the roll. The that burst now through. That made the shot. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah. But, but, again. but damage is two dice. That's what. No. We no. 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 See if this that the shield went down. Now I see again if that hits. Pretty much. Oh. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. That makes so sense. So now it did hit. So mm-hmm. be this plus seven, correct? Right. Oh, of course. Three uh, plus. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. Ten. <laughs> well, it's ten. Yeah. Which something. brings him down to forty-one points. There you go. To your twenty-three. Very I good. thought this round would be faster, but it's not. <laughs> yep, it's not. <laughs> yep. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> hey, fun fact, yep. I almost went with 100 points being tops. Ooh. Good gracious. Ooh. Yeah. So I construct a uh, an alien spaceship mm. with with uh, with the biggest weapon you can find on it. Okay. Okay, and I and I'm and I'm trying to I'm gonna I'm it's gonna crash into him and shoot him. Okay. So this okay. is a weapon construct. Yep. Or a vehicle construct. What are you going to call this? Or are you going to call it a weaponized vehicle? Weaponized vehicle. All right, so that's plus three. Here we go. A mm. one, so I clearly miss Mm-mm-mm. him. <laughs> Here's where we go downhill. This could be... But also, you had the chance to teleport after you... Oh, that's true, yeah. yeah. You're right. Just a reminder. <laughs> yeah. So whenever he rolls, yeah. you have a chance for him to, uh-huh. to If miss. he hits, you have a chance for him to miss. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're going right. straight for the kill there. Let's go All back right. to that yellow... 
tech energy burst once again for a okay. plus, a plus seven it. if I hit. If I if I even go for it. I'm in. Five. Did you have any shield yeah. at all? No, no nope. shield. You couldn't use okay. it that round. Oh, oh that's a sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Quick with the math. Forty one minus sixteen. Uh twenty five. Mm, twenty five. Wow, it's twenty five to twenty three, guys. Ooh, okay. Okay, got a real nail biter going on in this one. <laughs> so because, um, because I can create anything uh-huh. with my with my oh, green lantern ring, yeah. I create a virus to go into his Ooh. tech. Well, <laughs> wait a minute! Hey, I can create that's, anything. I don't know that you can create a virus because that's lines of code. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So, <laughs> all right. And have we ever seen Green Lantern create a computer virus with his ring? <laughs> Look, anything means anything, right? Well, it's all. It's only any objects. Okay. A virus okay. really isn't an object unless you're going to sit there. <laughs> okay. And, now, what you could do is build the computer and then learn how to code and create the code in the computer, but you don't know how to code it because it's an alien virus. That's uh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create. A um. All right, this it's it's not even on here, so I, can, I really can't do that. I, I was gonna say I was gonna create one of those things that throws out the bio or, or throws out the the. It's like from the Matrix, where it sends out the signal and it shuts down electronics. Oh, oh, like an electromagnetic pulse. A, an electro electro a machine that does a weapon that does an electromagnetic. Uh-huh. You're gonna pulse. create uh, an M. EMP. An EMP. Yeah. I'm going to create a machine that creates an EMP. Okay. So does that give me anything extra towards shutting down his his body? Uh, no. Okay. No, not really. So I'm just hitting him with a weapon. Yeah. It's an EMP. It's an EMP. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Four. He's in. So I'm in. Mm-hmm. I can have a chance to dodge, though, yeah? Yeah. Go ahead. I don't Three. dodge. I don't dodge. You hit me. Okay. So this is the weapon, so I get a <laughs> plus two on whatever this is. Ooh. Eight that's, that's plus ten. two, that's ten. Oh, so now you're down to thirteen Ooh. points, Cyborg. Okay. Ooh. Sparking even more. Yes. I uh, use my teleportation to go from this moon base we're on back really quickly to that alley we were at and teleport while I'm holding the Batmobile to bring the Batmobile back to this moon patrol. Wait a minute, you're going to go, wait, hold on a second, let me, so you're going to go back to the alley. Yeah, teleport to there, use some teleportation. Uh-huh. Back to the alley. I grab the Batmobile. Uh-huh. Teleport when back When you with that. pick up the Batmobile... Uh-huh. You notice there was a switch underneath uh, where it was laying. Uh, you just huh. revealed switch number three in this battle in the alley. It was hidden in the abandoned alley. Uh-huh. So it's switch number three. What are you going to do? I'm going to grab this Batmobile while seeing the switch. Mm-hmm. Teleport back to the moon station where he is. Okay. And throw the Batmobile at him. One switch, more time. switch first to his face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Batmobile's coming at him with a switch coming at his face. And therefore, he has the Well, option. the switch was on the ground. Oh, well, I thought it was the Batmobile switch. No, no, no. It wasn't oh, on well, the Batmobile. In that case, I'm pressing the switch. Okay. All right. I, uh, I thought it may be bad. So yeah. you, <laughs> you press the switch, and yeah. the entire podcast roll <laughs> holiday hero havoc 2017 arena is flooded with yellow light. For oh. three rounds, the Green Lantern <laughs> takes negative three points. <laughs> and for every attack, must roll five or six oh. to attack. Now, here's the deal. For three rounds. You realize I'm not in that alley, right? It's the entire arena. Oh, okay. Yeah. The entire arena. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, killing me, Smalls. Wow. All right. Hark, Green Lantern, you're on the space station. As I press that, I hear the... From up in the sky. So what, I, what do I have to do? So you're on the space station... Uh, you're there by yourself. We're going to assume you teleport back. Yeah, I'll teleport back. To right. rub it in his face. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Booyah. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All of, uh, out of nowhere, the entire space station is flooded with yellow light. Okay. You feel weak. Yes. But you know it's all Cyborg's fault, and he shows back up. Okay. All right. So I create a force field. All right. Okay, because I can do that now. You can do that. And then I'm going to attack him. With a monkey <laughs> driving a... Hold on. <laughs> this is going to get crazy. So these are actually things you on your card you can do? The monkey? Well, yeah, it's animal constructs plus one. That's vehicle funny. constructs plus one. Ring being plus one. Weapon construct plus okay, two. Okay, so awesome. I'm creating a... I never imagined we'd be combining them, but <laughs> I'm gonna, I didn't write a rule that you can't. A monkey driving a Jeep 
with a Gatling gun. I mean, not a Gatling gun on top, but like one of those 50 cal guns on top. <laughs> All, right, All right. So this is the plus five weapon. Yep. If plus, you hit. plus five weapon. But you have to roll five or six. To I know, hit. which I'm not going to. <laughs> Got to do five or six. Four. Oh. Sucks. The most amazing light construct. Yeah. Now you can hold that light construct for the next round. That's true. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, the most amazing light construct you've ever seen from the Green Lantern just yeah. happened. It was a monkey yeah, on, a, on a a monkey driving a jeep, jeep with a fifty cal on the back. <laughs> fifty cal. <laughs> yep. The yellow light's got to be messing with his head. Yeah, it yeah. is. I applaud yeah, his dude. efforts, but I see his weakness because of the yellow light pool. But your uh, your your shield. I just took damage already. S- still applies. But I just took damage. Yeah, already, you did right? just take damage. Yeah. W- what am What am I down to? Uh, th- uh, minus three. So you're down to twenty two. Wow. <clears throat> twenty two to thirteen. Since he's already in the the yellow light, he yep. has a weakness already. Let's do the uh, the classic tech cannon for a plus two, shall we? Yep. We're in. Mm. We're in. Okay. Here we go. So it'll be a plus, it'll be a plus six now total, that br- right? That broke through my shield. Oh, you had a shield again? Yeah. So I, yeah. now to see the actual attack. Right. And so two. And he uh, missed. Shield's gone, though, yeah? But so the shield's gone, yeah. He takes one point of damage for missing me. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a good call. I've forgotten that. Okay. So that's 12. You're down to 12. Ooh. So okay. it's 25 to 12. Okay. We're, we're bloody and broken. So once again, I'm going with the monkey Jeep. Right. 50 cow combo. But uh-huh. I have to roll a five or six in order to hit him. Right. Five or higher, which would only be a six. One. Mm. Uh-huh. Didn't. That, that It's really jacking me up. So uh, I just took how many points of damage because of the green light? Three. Okay. Wow. Wow. So I'm down to what? 22. Mm. 22 to 12. Okay. You know what? You only have ten points higher than him, but you do have ten points higher than he has. Okay, Ooh, gotcha. Yeah, Dang. but but I've got two more rounds of taking three just for nothing. That was your second round, so you have one more round. Oh, I thought you said four. No, it's three rounds. Okay, yeah. gotcha. We're going for the uh, the yellow hue tech energy. Bur- is that yellow still going? We're still going strong. Is, is there a round amount on the, the yellow light? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's got Let's, one more. One more. Of that. When it goes back to him, he'll right. lose three more points, and then the yellow okay. light. Okay. Let's try on. one more time the uh, the tech energy burst with a plus three on that. See, and you have no shield right now. No shield. No, no shield. shield right now. One. Mm, one. I missed that. Okay, he takes one point of damage yep. for missing. Ooh, mm. man. So you're down to 11. Okay, so this time, what I'm creating, okay? Yeah. Mind you, I'm creating a shark <laughs> with a laser, a freaking <laughs> laser <laughs> on his head. A green laser? So, so the okay. shark has a laser on his head, so it is an animal construct with a weapon, so it's plus three. Right. Okay, you ready? <laughs> And I got to roll a five or six to hit you, so it doesn't really matter. It's not going to happen. I got a one. Uh, <laughs> what an unlucky <laughs> bounce. Yep. Good wow. times. You just saw a shark with your freaking laser beam. I did. I see beam. he and I both are almost at a stalemate on this moonish base here. Uh-huh. So I'm going to grab him, a big bear hug style. We're going to teleport back to that, that alley we okay. were before. Well, where there's a wrecked Batmobile. Exactly, yeah. Right there. I'm going to slam him against that Batmobile that I can't break into. Yeah. But I'm going to try to like just point blank. To his head, a tech cannon to his face. Why did you not try to hack the Batmobile to open? We don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I hacked its cannons and used it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Ooh, six. So, I'm in. so he yeah. lands. Yep. And tech cannons a plus two, plus the plus, or was the plus four over? Is the yellow light done? Uh, this this is the last one. Last one. So if yeah. if I hit, we have a plus six on this. And I don't. Oh. Wait, oh, no, that's a seven. I did hit before. Okay, you so hit. it's a seven. So it's. Huh? It's a seven, right? Because, yeah, it's a plus six. Yeah, so one plus six. So we have a seven. Seven off of it. Sorry. I forgot it was in. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. You're, no, no, no. You're, uh, I should have rolled double now, shouldn't I? Yeah, you should yeah, have. Yeah, why didn't you? I'm not so sure. You well, roll another one. Roll another one. So we have seven plus four. That's 11. 11. Uh, I'm going to die. So you're down to 11 points. Oh, we're tied. tied at, uh-oh. We're yeah. tied at 11. I'm going to die. Here 11 we go. all. We're tied up. Yeah. yeah. And that's the last round of the yellow, so you have a chance here. Yeah, that's it. Okay, we're yeah. back in the alley, right? Uh-huh. Yep. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the shark laser again, uh-huh. and it's coming for him. All right. Ready? Four or higher, right? Right, four or higher now. Three. Ah. So I miss. This is awesome. I'm going to die for sure. Maybe not. He's got to roll a four or higher. To, no, that's the force field. He's got to roll a three or higher to land an attack. And by the way, before can I can I before my rounds over, or is it, do I got to do it before? Is there a, is there a status here before um, before he attacks? Can I throw my shield up again? Yeah, you can put the shield up. I shield because you rested the last round. I rested last round. Right, shield's, shields up. up. Yeah, I see him battered and broken, walking around in, in a circle, middle of the road, kind of like a possum does when it's been hit by a car. True mm-hmm. statement. And I decide 
after a higher power whispered in my ear to try to hack into that Batmobile. No. <laughs> It's <laughs> absolutely insane. <laughs> wow. Am I successful at hacking? Let's see. A successful hack on the Batmobile. Let's split it. Three or higher. Is that fair? Well, four or higher. Split, split. Four or four yeah. higher. All right. Uh, unsuccessful this mm-hmm. round. And an unsuccessful <laughs> should hurt him, should it not? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, let's be me. honest but about this. But let me tell this. you what almost happened. If he had hacked the Batmobile... Uh-huh. And got inside the Batmobile. Um, well, we have Batman coming up soon, so don't maybe you shouldn't say it, right? Well, here you can just read the, remember this. Uh, one time, plus ten havoc points when first seated in Batmobile. Once twenty points of damage done, Batmobile is destroyed. Oh, wow. when in Batmobile, opponent must roll four or higher to land attack. Out of Batmobile, opponent lands attack with three or higher on uh-huh. Batman. But you instantly get 10 more Havoc points by just getting in the Batmobile. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. All right. So it's my go uh-huh. since he tried to hack and couldn't do it. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's see what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to come up with something else. All right. So I create a polar bear. <laughs> <laughs> Riding a dolphin. <laughs> a polar bear with a... Um, I don't know. Good gracious. With knives coming out, charging him. Okay. With with like swords or knives or something, <laughs> like a harness. And it's going to... So that's a weapon plus an animal, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. here we go. Four or higher. I got a four. All right. He's that's in. It. He's in. Double. So we're looking at uh, doubles plus three. So Ooh, that is 11. eight plus three 11. is 11. Yeah. You just... The cyborg is dead. Defeated. Wow. With a polar bear of knives. with knives coming out of him. <laughs> After I shocked myself trying to get into the Batmobile. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, wow. Green Lantern. Wow. <laughs> You've just won battle number two. <laughs> we are one and one, folks. That's, That's yeah. what it is. That's we true. are one and That's one. True. Pod casserole. <laughs> Holiday Hero Havoc 2017. <laughs> That's all we got time for. It's, uh, it's, it's yeah. a true statement. <laughs> I feel like I truly... This is going to go on through the entire holiday season. It, it will have battle. to. It natural will have battle. to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think we just established a role-playing night for that, the next couple yeah. of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. For so. sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, thanks for joining us. <laughs> yeah. It's a good time. Contestants, good battles. Yeah. Just to recap, the Flash won against the Stargirl. Uh-huh. Green Lantern... One against Cyborg. Narrowly. What's good is that these are pretty realistic outcomes, though. I would say Cyborg and, and Green Lantern would be a close battle, but Green Lantern would win. And I think uh, Flash would annihilate Stargirl. Annihilate so, Much like the game played out. That's good. When we come back for the next podcast role, Hero Holiday Havoc 2017. Down you guys like that. this? Is it it's fun? fun yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's, it's very good. Is it very fun good. or dumb? I like it. No, no, it's good. Like well, it. Let us know. Do you think this is fun? Is it dumb? Tweet at us at Adam and JP or uh, email us AJP at AdamandJP.com. And Sherry, we expect to see an email. Yeah. We want to know if you want to try the all-famous Goo Goo Cluster. (laughs) (laughs) For Adam Hewitt, (laughs) Josh Hughes, I'm Jay Patrick, and this has been Podcasserole, Hero Holiday Havoc. 2017. This has been a production of the Adam and JP family of On Demand Talk Radio. Adam and JP. Right now. Right now. Right now. This has been a broadcast of the ESO Network, your station for all things geek. Classic, current, and beyond. Be part of the crew at ESONetwork.com.